Hello everyone. So this is the fourth video in the series of how to approach UPSC essay. So as I have said in the first few video, so we are discussing the keywords from the uh, notification itself. So after that we will discuss about you know how to choose the topic or what are the sources for essay, how to approach a philosophical essay and all those all those things. But the most important point being you know uh, why uh, UPSC has mentioned certain keywords like in this essay we are going to discuss about arrange the ideas in orderly fashion and to write in concise fashion and credit will be given to effective and exact expression so as i was pointing out in the first videos uh, some of the mistakes that aspirants do is go out of the framework go beyond the framework and not approach the demand of the exam so th they don't take the entire essence of the given topic so essence of the given topic is more important than the particular keyword within the essay for example ships don't sink uh, by being on the water ships sink because the water that comes into them so you don't talk about ships or water alone you talk about the essence essence is everything right you can apply it to topics like public sector unit and corruption or you can say be the change you wish to see in the world so so all those things are called as given framework so in my understanding the pictorial representation says that this black line this this line is actually what is the boundary of your framework that is the essence so as long as you stay within the essence your uh, essay is decently rewarded the minimum you get is minimum 125 A anything above that is bonus that, that, that depends on your hard work now so arrange them in a proper fashion so what do i mean by arrange so first of all all of you know the structuring part intro body and conclusion so intro is a hook intro is a attention seeker attention grabber right so it takes the attention of the examiner and asks him to read the body part right just when you are about to finish with the body part then you elaborate into a conclusion and conclude the essay so it's a logical flow see a conclusion is a logical flow out of your argument intro is a dragging point into your body so as long as you maintain this particular framework you will be fine but one more thing that aspirants do is they don't follow the dimensionality approach that means this is intro right so it's like a journey the journey is like god roads all of you must have seen god roads right so this is conclusion part let's say what happens sometimes is if if you follow this logical order like intro thesis statement body then conclusion so it's a natural flow smoothly you have connected dimension one dimension two and all those things but sometimes what happens is aspirant will start with the intro go off the track or sometimes he comes all the way till here then directly jumps here okay so so again go back so you do a lot of things without realizing that you are doing all these things just today morning i have evaluated an essay so what happened to with, with that student is uh, he was fine till this particular point then from here he went into a whole different direction instead of going into conclusion he went above and beyond the framework and the entire essay drifted away so please keep in mind such mistake should be avoided so god road approach means you should descend very logically there should be a connection between one dimension to next dimension and all your dimension should have a end game that is your conclusion sir so how can i keep maintaining this particular framework so how can i make sure that i am in the intro body conclusion and uh, in this god section approach without jumping directly from point a to point b one clue i will give you is from tina dabi ss so you can get them in the visionary yes website right so one nice point you can learn from her essays is she writes the thesis statement right whenever you take an essay she writes a thesis statement and she works towards that particular thesis statement for example if you see the brainstorming of uh, you know poverty is the worst form of violence you have to have a thesis statement like what you want to do based on that thesis statement Oh, see what is this statement for example poverty is the worst form of violence so we all understand that poverty have multiple impacts and it it is the worst form of violence right so now the essence has been understood now what are the reasons for po poverty why do we think poverty will create lot of violence what are the steps that we can to take to elevate poverty will this will those steps suffice or do we need to do something more so that is this statement right so if you have a essence of the given topic and then certain benchmarks like sorry certain points certain questions you ask then you will address towards that particular 
question so so you have to think about an intro what is poverty why poverty is the worst form of violence so you have to think about someone who is severely affected by poverty and why it is <coughs> more damaging than any other form of violence then you write a thesis statement like what are the reasons for poverty why poverty is a, f- a form of violence right what is this why is this vicious cycle of poverty and violence keep continuing right then what are the steps we can take to reduce the poverty <coughs> and then a conclusion right or uh, like uh, you you can divide the conclu- just about the conclusion into two ways one is what are the steps already done by the government and what is still yet to be done that is way forward like of thing you know not exactly way forward but it's a futuristic point right then you conclude so if you see her brainstorming pages i will share the pdf as usual right <coughs> you can definitely understand uh, it's it's very organized right and that will guide you so as long as you have thesis so what is happening all your questions are all your framework is being asked about the four questions that you have made in relation to this particular topic like point 1 point 2 point 3 point 4 then intro then conclusion so you have to fill the slot by brainstorming so first of all why poverty is the worst form of violence think of all the examples then what is poverty uh, i mean why poverty is a vicious cycle what breeds poverty it does you know lack of jobs lack of employment skilling uh, health education out of pocket expenditure you dump all the points you can think of right then what are the steps Uh, that have been taken by the government you think of all the schemes that government is doing then still what ca- what else can be done something out of the box then you have to think about conclusion so when you do <coughs> a thesis statement like this earlier in the brainstorming page itself so your essay will be within the framework so it's a very simple trick but the problem lies in execution so uh, like any other class essay class is also very easy to listen to very easy to comprehend but when you sit in front of a paper trying to bring in all those points together in a structured fashion is a very very difficult point so try and practice so do more brainstorming take upsc previous questions and brainstorm instead of writing an essay outrightly brainstorm what will i write what will be my thinking thought what will be my thesis for this particular essay and remember writing thesis is not compulsory in the essay but it will help you to brainstorm so even in essays where you don't write a thesis officially in the paper in the brainstorming page have a thesis what what are you trying to achieve So, right what are the questions that you are going to ask yourself and address them so it will help you focus stay focused within the framework hope this will help you see you in the next videos about uh, the future um, more doubts on the essay topic all the best